Joe here from H145 Rotor Sims, and you've just seen me flying around the canyons with this new beautiful motion cueing software by none other departed reality. Adam Spiegelman, the mechanical engineer, has finally released this to the public on the Microsoft Store. Now he is running a 20% discount on the software, and by the way, you pay once and only once. No subscriptions, none of that BS, okay? So the software is incredible, it's great, and I've been fortunate enough to be part of the beta testing group on the Discord channel. Because I guess I'm the only person maybe with a quad post setup, everybody else has, had, you know, like the hexapod and all that. So I thought it was really, really interesting to be part of it, and any of the feedback I gave was just super welcomed. They were really quick on their responses, and to me that's the most important thing is customer support. I mean, when I would ask a question, he would just fire an answer right back within minutes if he's awake. I don't even know if this guy sleeps. I really don't. Uh, so, but I'm going to jump into the software real quick. We're going to kind of go through it just really on a basic level and show you all the tabs and everything in it. I will link the software where you can get it, you know, with the discount on it, as well as the manual and the Discord channel invite. I really encourage you to go in there and check it out. I think you're going to be really impressed. There's a ton of support for a whole bunch of other games that I don't even use. I only use FS2020 and obviously 2024 that will be coming. So let's jump in, let's take a look at the, uh, the GUI, the GUI, and uh, see what you think of it. A super clean GUI, and as you can see, I only have two games. You're probably wondering, where the heck are the rest of them? It's all right, go to settings, jump into the sourceless edit, and you can see here what I have hidden away, everything but the two flight simulators that I am interested in. So this is how you would go ahead and have those appear on this page. So the profile that I have set up here is called test. And the reason for this is because this is the one that I have been tweaking for quite a while for the H145 that feels great to me. So this test profile, you'll see that there's primary ground and vibration. That's it, I only have three tabs. For the default quad post, you have simple variant vibration travel limits. Now the simple is basically, we'll take the telemetry data from the air and the ground and combine them together. Whereas this profile here, if you decide you want to set your own up, you could do primary for the air and then ground, obviously, for the ground telemetry. Now, for me, I have these separated, obviously, because for helicopters, it's kind of important, especially when you're in the hover effect. So you can see that my heave um, is drastically different for my primary versus my ground. I mean, we have 700 versus uh, 2,000 for the, uh, the low-pass samples. So, again, refer to the manual. Definitely check that out because there's a lot of information in there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next tab here for the ground. You can see these are just my settings. And of course we have everything like you would expect in a motion cueing software. Uh, for the vibration, I have this set up on pitch. So when I pitch the nose, I could feel a little bit more vibration in the helicopter. I found that when I put it on heave that I was getting like really random, heavy, weird bumps. Um, and that's just the telemetry data that's actually being pushed out from Flight Simulator. I was having the same issue uh, with Fly PT and all that. So. Let's move over to the sim config. Now this is really cool. You have like basically a pictorial diagram of your setup. So this is basically like how my posts are set up and I actually measured them and I have them, you know, correct. And my travel is set up for 150 millimeter for my actuators, but um, for my heave, obviously I have that in half because it goes from the center and then it would be up and then down. So 75 negative and 75 positive. And then my pitch and roll, I have limited that to 10 degrees. I'm probably going to lower that uh, when I do VR uh, because it doesn't take much to really kind of fool your brain into thinking you are turning and moving a hell of a lot more than you are. So the preset here is a Thanos 4U. You know, if you have an M4S or a Thanos AMC, you can set that up or a custom. And I have my COM port set up. And of course, all the ports on my RS Mega and my actuator locations. Really cool. Over in the settings dialog here, which I showed you just a moment ago about the source list, we saw that. And you can go ahead and set up a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts, and they are really intuitive, pretty simple to do. Audio notifications, so like if your safety filters are being exceeded for whatever reason, you can have that actually you know, come through your monitor and you'll hear the actual system ding um, if you go or going over your safety filters or your access based on what you're programmed. And then, of course, we have the global gain, which is typical translational axis. Now, the safety filter activation threshold is very, very, very important, especially when you crash. And in the helicopter, especially if this thing is like pretty much 90% metal, 
Uh, <laughs> it, it can hurt. So make sure uh, you definitely look into the crash filters. If you're unaware, please just jump into the Discord, ask questions, and everybody is there to help you. And of course, we have a debug log, source data, and um, anything else that we want to pull up, like our sim position, we could go ahead and do manual control once you're connected to the, uh, to the controller. I really love supporting super, super small companies because that's how I started. And I, it just, you just grow and grow and grow and grow. And uh, somebody who's really dedicated to customer support speaks volumes to me because I understand that with my clientele as well. So again, jump on the Discord. Like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. I'll roll the footage of the whole canyon flight if you really want to see it. It's up to you. And um, yeah, thanks so much and have an awesome evening.